Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are a little bit over 10 weeks out of the Arnold Classic 2024. As we all know, Hadi is on the official list of competitors, but we also know that under his name it says pending, which is apparently referring to his visa. As of right now, Hadi doesn't have the US visa and he still hasn't confirmed officially by himself that he's doing the Arnold Classic. So, is he even doing the Arnold Classic? How official is that? I mean, in this video that he posted, he does look really freaking good, check it out. I mean, yeah, it's a front relaxed pose, one of his best poses. Front relaxed, most muscular, those are his best, absent eyes, of course. So, yeah, in this one he looks freaky, right? I mean, he looks really wide, really thick, he looks conditioned, his legs look straighted, his abs are visible or really visible he looks wide and big and hard still so you know he does look like the favorite to win this show but is he even doing it that is the question now it kind of looks like hadi not to really write anything even though he's doing this show he would think that it was enough that arnold classic people posted the official list of competitors he's in the list and that is enough but is it Maybe we don't know if he's gonna get the visa, and lately he hasn't really had any troubles with that, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get the visa, but until he says that he is prepping for the Arnold Classic, we don't know if this is legit. Everybody else pretty much said something about this, commented something like that, but not Hadi. And again, it looks like him not to say anything. Maybe his silence means absolutely nothing. When he posted this video, he says in the caption, hello guys, how are you? You know, it's not much of a caption, but he's trying, the effort is there. He's writing captions, he's posting content, and he's writing captions in English, and he is even using emojis, so yeah, officially he's more active on social media, which I command, which is really good. He's trying right now, probably because he believes he lost the title due to being inactive on social media, not promoting the sport, not really. And now he's active, let's put it that way. And obviously this is him. It's not his assistant uh, writing the captions, it's him personally. We can be pretty sure about that. But the fact that he is out there making stories, posting stuff, writing captions, it doesn't necessarily mean that he will voice himself about whatever concerns we have. So the fact that he didn't say anything about the Arnold Classic, that he didn't post anything, it doesn't mean that he's not doing it. It is a little suspicious, but it doesn't really mean much right now. But I gotta tell you, he looks awesome. I think he looks better than he would usually look 6-7 weeks after the Mr. Olympia. And I think there is a good reason for it. And I think the reason is that he is prepping for the Arnold Classic. Now, there is one thing about his post that I noticed, I think for the first time ever, Tyler Mannion pointed this out when he was analyzing the top two at a Mr. Olympia, and he basically said that Harry's one leg is bigger than the other, and I never noticed that so far, but now I can see it. I can see that his right leg is smaller than his left one. Can you guys see it? Can you notice it now? I think his right leg is obviously, quite obviously, down in size compared to the left one. And all that is, is another chink in his armor, another reason why he might lose to Samson Dauda if, again, if he is doing the Arnold Classic. What do you guys think? Do you think he's doing it or not? Next up, we got Big Remy, another former Mr. Olympia who might be doing the Arnold Classic as well. This is another post in the same week, another video, another posing footage of Big Remy after basically a year of nothing. Since the Arnold Classic until now, we saw nothing from Big Remy, and now this week we got already two videos of him, and I have a feeling that there is a lot more to come because finally he got in shape. I believe he took some time off after the Arnold Classic, he recovered, and now he is coming back. And the fact that he is not on the Mr. Olympia official list doesn't mean that he's not gonna be doing the Arnold Classic. This guy can jump in whenever he wants. If he wants to compete, he can jump in the day of the show. They will let him. And I think he's prepping for it. Maybe he's not sure if he's gonna do it. Maybe he's gonna decide along the way, along the prep. 
but personally I have a feeling it seems like he's prepping for something and I don't think it's New York Pro or some other regular pro show Big Remy doesn't need to qualify for the Mr. Olympia he's already qualified for life so would he be doing smaller shows or would he focus you know put his effort in and try to win the Arnold Classic and win potentially $300,000 I think that makes a lot of sense. I don't think he is prepping for the Mr. Olympia at this point. Mr. Olympia is basically almost a year away. And as you can see, he's already nearly in shape. I mean, he's in a really good shape, a really good point to start the prep right now. So will he wait for a whole year to do the Mr. Olympia? Looking like this right now. I don't think so, I just don't think so, I think this guy is prepping for the Arnold Classic and he looks awesome right now. Now as far as, once again, as far as his flaws, as far as his injuries or whatever it is, I think it's all still there, I don't think much changed, but you know, he can peak a little bit better, he can get in a little bit better conditioning, maybe he's gonna improve some of those parts, maybe he's gonna be that big, that freaky, that shredded, that... We're gonna be able to ignore all the other issues because of his size and the freak factor. You know, that's a possibility. I think he looks like he can do the Arnold Classic and do really well. And if he's a little bit lucky, potentially even win this show. Uh, if, if Hardy and Samson both are doing it, you know, it's really tough to even crack the top three in that case. But in case Hardy doesn't show up, is it possible for Big Remy to beat Samson again? I think it is. I mean, he beat him at the Mr. Olympia, he didn't beat him at the Arnold Classic. Maybe the Wheel of Fortune will turn and Big Remy is gonna come in looking super fresh, super shredded, full and round. And it's gonna be enough for him to win the Arnold Classic. It's not impossible. I believe Big Remy is not on that list because he's not sure yet. But as far as Martin Fitzwater... I know this guy wanted to be in that lineup and like I said, in my opinion, in that call out, he beats at least half of the guys if he's really on, he can even be, you know, as high as top 3, he already really pushed Andrew Jack and he didn't make the list, he didn't make the lineup, why is this? Well, I totally forgot about a couple of things that I'm gonna mention now. So first, let's take a look at this uh, post that Martin made after being denied for the Arnold Classic. So he says, this post is from last week. He says, guess better luck next time. Back to the drawing board. I didn't apply for Arnold Classic UK, so I'll see y'all later. And in, this, and in this caption, he kind of seems, you know, mad. He seems disappointed. What he's telling us here, basically, is that he quit prepping. He was prepping for the Arnold Classic and the Arnold Classic UK, but he is going back to the drawing board. That means he's going back to the off-season. That's what drawing board means in bodybuilding terms. And he says, I'll see you all, I see you all later. It seems like an emotional, immature response. Some other bodybuilders didn't get the invite, and they are like... There is always another show, there is New York Pro, there is a lot of other shows, but no, Martin is really disappointed, and I'm sure the reason of that, part of the reason of that is because everybody in the comment section everywhere keeps saying that it doesn't make sense that he wasn't invited, and I said it myself, you know, as a bodybuilder, Martin is good enough to clash against all of the guys in that lineup, but what could be the reason he didn't get the invite? Could it be political? What do I mean political? I'm sure you guys forgot at this point, but let me refresh your memory. There were a couple of things, a couple of fiascos with this guy, with Martin. One of them would be this one. Uh, it's a photo that the guy is there in the post that, uh, of himself with Martin and Nick Walker commented, guys, legs are bigger. And Martin's response was, at least I won't throw a clot and die. And this happened right after one of the bodybuilders died from a heart attack. I can't really remember who it was, but it was not a good timing. Uh, it's never a good timing for this, but it especially wasn't at this time. Right after this comment, Martin got fired by Seth Ferrosi from Accent Sledge, so he lost a sponsor. Before this, or after, somewhere around the same time, he said about Andrew Jack that he looked like a melted candle or something like that. I think he, I'm pretty sure he used harsher words 
to describe Andrew Jack after he lost to him at the Texas Pro and uh, Arnold Classic UK as well. So there was that. And then also he allegedly got arrested. At least that was the rumor on the internet. And this is his mugshot. Let's not get into the reasons why he was arrested. But he doesn't really have a clean sheet. You know, he is a rather controversial bodybuilder. There is a lot of a lot of negativity surrounding his name. So maybe that was part of the reason why Arnold Classic didn't choose him. As far as the physique, like I said, he could have handled himself against pretty much everybody in this lineup. I'm not saying he would have won the Arnold Classic, but the best case scenario, he would fight against Andrew Jack for the third spot. I don't think he would be out of that top five if he is on the way he was at Texas Pro when Branch was prepping him. Maybe he doesn't have Branch Warren in his corner anymore, but he just needs a decent coach and he can pull that off again. He can come in conditioned, really conditioned and really good again, for sure. And also there is a reason for why Branch stopped working with him. And I think it was, let's put it this way shortly, it was Martin's irresponsibility. I think they were traveling around the Europe and they were promoting Gasp. And Martin really didn't handle himself as a professional. And so Branch being as short-tempered as he is, he just had it with Martin and they stopped working together at that point. So overall at this point, Martin really doesn't have the best reputation in the industry. And once again, his physique is amazing. So what could be the reason for him not getting accepted? And somebody like, I don't know, Anton Voyant being accepted instead of him. I mean, Antoine, he's probably going to have a really good posing routine, but he can't battle against Martin. He's not even close to that level of development of, of bodybuilding, simply. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the reason. This is the reason. It's a political reason. I wish Martin good luck. And, uh, hey, looks like uh, Brett Wilkin decided to take him under his wing uh, back again. And you guys probably know that these guys used to be training partners. And you can watch the videos. These guys train like maniacs. They are really hardcore. And I think these guys partnering up back again. It's going to be a great thing for both of them. And just like Brad says in the caption here. Fuel to the fire. I hope uh, Martin being not being accepted to the Arnold Classic. Is going to be just the fuel. That's going to make him work harder than ever. And he's going to do the New York Pro or some other show. Win it. Go to the Mr. Olympia and kill it over there. I just hope he's gonna stay focused, and not take this kind of stuff too personally, pay his dues, and eventually he's gonna be at the top, in my opinion. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And guys, for more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Help me reach 50k subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.